Good morning, good morning. It is Latrice Bartley with Purposefully Living. Listen, it is Monday, a brand new week, a brand new day. Um, another opportunity to get focused, intentional, and tenacious about God's plan. So y'all, I am doing Motivational Monday right now here live um, because it's a little different today. And I'm not going to even deceive you. I had a word of encouragement prepared that was different. And I just changed it. The Holy Spirit just led me to change it because I just want to take to this moment to share with someone. Because a lot of times I know even, you know, when you're giving encouragement or I take it very seriously. But I'm going to be honest. Sometimes, you know, I've had people um, that know me that that have, you know, called me and say, oh, you know, how do you do this? And how do you do that? You know, even um, being a life coach and all of that sometimes it can seem like we have it together but y'all i am human as you i do not always have it together i don't always look great don't always function great yes i am a wife a mom a business owner all the things right but it takes the holy spirit it takes god himself to help me and i just want if i could you know i'm working on these titles y'all but if i could encourage you with a, a little short title for today's motivation on monday it would be breathe breathe let me tell you why i'm just i'm just talking to you literally in the field y'all gonna understand while i'm in the field in a minute um i woke up today at 4 a.m and so i will be very honest with you I, I get up early i'm not a morning person but i have become a morning person because i have little kids so it is what it is and as especially when they were smaller it's just something i had to do so i can be very rigid i can be i'm definitely structured um i have a plan and a plan for the plan and the plan for that plan okay um i'm just being honest and so this weekend was great. I really was in my mommy hat, you know, beach day with the kids, but I'm working on a new system to just kind of help, you know, through this transition. My kids, believe it or not, they I have one that's a little meticulous, one that need, he's not meticulous, he's all over the place. And so they need that little bit of structure and one likes the structure. So I say all that to say, I have this system that I'm putting together. And yesterday, y'all, I was just tired. I, I, I Listen, it was a great day. I did some things with my kids, but I remember just telling my husband, I can't even push anymore. I'm tired. And so I set my alarm for like 40 minutes to just get a couple things done for homeschool prep. And y'all, I was in the bed probably at nine, nine o'clock. That is rare for me. Like I'm 11 o'clock, but I'm learning to listen to my body. And so I woke up at 4 a.m. Just stay with me. I'm setting a schedule. I'm setting this tone for you. Um, I woke up at 4 a.m. Excited, right? Because I got all this sleep. I know what I have to get done. But first thing, just so you know, when I get up, most times my first thing is, you know, after I brush my teeth and all that good stuff, I get my Bible and I get in the presence of the Lord. And so... God is my witness. I got up and of course in my mind I was thinking, okay, I need to get some things prepped for their homeschool. I knew I needed to get their little system going because it emails them, you know, their assignments. But I was like, I need to pray. I need to and y'all I heard the Holy Spirit say the important thing is to go ahead and take care of the kids. I'm right here. So I said, okay. So I went, did the thing, you know, started, got all the kids stuff together. Make that story shorter at 6 30. now mind you i got up at four o'clock a.m i had no idea it would take me to 6 30. and so i was getting very discouraged quick because again remember i'm a scheduled person i have a plan for the plan for the plan so i don't do winging it i can wing it very well but it is not the place that i love to live i'm just being honest with you i don't like that great but i'm learning and so why am i sharing this with you as i kept going with and, and mind you this is a priority this is important but i just was getting so discouraged because i had my plan for my workout how i was going to start the day um i also had planned um not just my workout but i was also you know i had how i was going to start this new sit i was just ready right and it's like my plan was just going through the window 
off of something good. I just didn't know that it would take that much time. So I'm like, Lord. And then I haven't had my prayer time. And it was like, the Holy Spirit was like, I'm right here. Just talk to me. I'm right here. So as I just listened, I will finish, say I finished all the stuff. It was about 7, um, 7.30. So now I'm really discouraged, right? And I got up. I, my boys are up by now and so I am like really trying to get them out in the mornings to do PE and I it was like the Holy Spirit say so they do PE you do your run and I said okay I can just flip it because I normally do extra cardio at the end of my day and my my weight workout in the morning so it was like flip it why am I sharing all this because as I got in the car be very honest with you y'all it's like inside I started getting anxious I was like almost like a little bit hyperventilating and I could hear the Holy Spirit say breathe breathe and he just y'all let me tell you something the voice of God is real that's number one why I'm sharing this because you might be like girl why in the morning do you think we need to know your whole schedule and what went wrong just stay with me I began to hear him say breathe and literally I just took deep breaths let it out take deep breaths let it out and the Lord reminded me number one I'm right here I'm right here with you um he was like you know you're rigid that's okay that's how I made you you're structured organized and there's so many pros to that but don't ever forget that you can plan so much that you plan me right on out and y'all that thing did something to me the Lord was like give me space to breathe into your day and I say that this is where I want to come from Motivational Monday. I want to be, because the reality is, like I start off saying, I don't have it all together. I get overwhelmed just like anybody else. I get anxious, but I give God's voice room to correct me. And he does a lot of correcting by day. And y'all, he just began to tell me to breathe. He said, breathe. And so literally I was in the car and I could feel myself like, because here's the thing, my friend, my sister, she reminds me all the time that you set the tone for your house. And I want to encourage the women to, I want to encourage us because we forget a lot of times that we are, we set the tone for our home. And so if we are spazzed out or we are frustrated or we're angry, you might think you do a good, a good, uh, you're very good at hiding it, but probably not. And so then we, un we don't realize how that affects our children's day or our husband's day. And so it matters that we just take a moment in God's presence. Y'all, he just began to remind me, breathe. I'm right here. And every day doesn't have to look the same. And so I want to say that to you for this week. I know this is not necessarily, you know, I'm not telling you to turn to Romans 12 or whatever. I am getting ready to tell you to turn to a scripture. But I want to start out with, you know, one of my favorites, Psalms 32 and 8. Remembering, New Living Translation, I think, that God knows the best pathway for your life. That's what he had to remind me. He like, remember that scripture you quote? Okay, now nah, let's let's digest that today. Because at the end of the day, Trish, you did the more important thing. You needed to get that done. That was a priority. But I had my schedule and God said, let me breathe in. I'm still here. Whether you sit with me in the closet or we talk in a car. And he knows my heart. And I think, too, I, I really take getting in God's presence as a priority. I don't want to because we have a lot of people that that they will, you know, it's like, let me just get my little Jesus a day across my phone and a podcast, but we don't take the time. And I'm probably the other end. I want my time. But here's the reality that I wanted to encourage some mother um, or maybe someone like me, you're homeschooling or maybe some mom that just has little kids in this season of life or whatever season of life you is. Number one, understand the season. Number two, understand that in that season, give yourself grace. Like I had to remind myself today, every day doesn't look the same and sometimes when your season is like mine with little kids like to get those moments to be able to sit is so 
you know listen they're rare but the reality is to be at the kitchen sink and praying in your spirit or hearing sometimes i will fix my kids um breakfast with my ipod in and i'm listening to the podcast or worship music and i'm worshiping and i'm just fixing their food telling god thank you for this day and i'm uttering praise over the day that's what my time in his presence looks like he's not boxed into a closet he's not boxed into um our bedroom he's not boxed in but he understands the season that he has you in and i think we forget that myself included so i wanted to encourage someone today who's like me you know i could feel myself because here i am that rigidness like no tick 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 and god was like give me room Give me room to develop you. Because guess what, y'all? That's all this morning was about development. God was reminding me that, listen, you have to learn to be flexible. Where I'm taking you, who's to say that I'm not going to put other opportunities and other speaking engagements and you still homeschooling? So what does that look like? You might have a full set schedule and I blow it up in a day, but you just got to come to me and say, okay, Lord, what do I do? How do I handle this moment? How do I? lead me Holy Spirit and he will so I'm out here on this beautiful part with my children they're doing PE I'm going to run we already did our Bible study but here's where you're going to get Bible here's one child that wants to say hello Hi. so listen y'all I can't make this up so we got the little um their little uh devotional right and let me read to you, but I'm going to focus in on one part. It says, take a break from judging. Do not judge or you too will be judged. Matthew 7 and 1. You can get into a habit of judging. You judge this situation and that situation, this person and that person. You judge yourself. You judge yourself. I'm coming back to that. You even judge the weather. So much of your time is spent making judgments as if that were your main job in life. Actually, your main job is to worship me. So forget about judging and just come to me. I am the creator and you are my creation. I am the shepherd and you are my sheep. I am the potter and you are my clay. Let me have my way in your life. Let me have your way my way in your life let me say one more time let me have my way in your life it is not your place to judge not even yourself y'all i can't make this up this this the lord speaking to me I, but i'm reading the kids devotion now i was like okay it says judging is my job worship me as the king of all kings the king who loved you enough to die for you and save you from judgment Whoo-cha listen if y'all don't believe the lord is real this was my son's right when i was headed out when the lord said listen go run and let them do their pe i heard get there i, I got their um their devotional for those that want to know what i'm reading this is what it's called jesus calling 365 devotions for kids by sarah young we y'all listen and let me tell you what was so funny we sat in the little parking lot we did our prayer time and we read <laughs> Lisa said, ouch, Woo, that was for me. And I said, but you know what? The fact that you could own it, that's, that's progress. I said, because it was for your mama too. And mom said, well, I ain't got that problem. I said, well, you got some other problems. But listen, what am I saying? Y'all, I know this is a different motivation on Monday, but I just need to encourage you right in life. You know, listen, the word is our life, but this is why I encourage you to get motivated to get in God's word because we are mess sometimes. We are messing our emotions. We are messing our mind. We overthink things. We, God wants us to just come to him like this um devotional reminded me he said you don't even get to judge you think about that because the reality is sometimes we're so hard on ourselves like myself why didn't you have this you've been up at 4 a.m you should have this that that give yourself grace god was like i'm right here with you i'm the one that's amending your schedule i'm the one that's giving you the freedom and liberty to say no we ain't praying like that this morning you're gonna pray as you want you're gonna take care of this for the kids first he's the one that gives the wisdom but if we're not willing to invite him in we will miss his gentle hand 
We will miss how he loves on us in spite of us. We will miss how he reminds us, uh, I got a better way. Didn't you say, Lee, Lee, you're on the best path? That's not the best pathway today because I know at two o'clock you're going to get a call or I know this meeting get ready to go. So I want you to move this to the mark. You don't know why you moving it, but you don't know when you get in a meeting, they say we got another opportunity and you, now y'all need to do strategy for another hour. But just because you gave the Holy Spirit the opportunity opportunity and the and just that that space into your day he's leading you that's what i want to share with you all so i say as i said to myself and as the holy spirit said to me breathe come on let's do it together two more times one more we have to just say holy spirit Come on. I'm breathing. I'm listening. And I'm going to obey. And y'all, that's what I wanted to tell you. And you know what that looks like? Romans 12, 1 through 2. But um, it's, I want to say it's especially 2 in the message version. Read that today. That's your motivational Monday scripture. I love this scripture. It is an anchor. And here's it on a high level. It reminds us to lay down our everyday living. And it literally says you're eating, you're sleeping, you're going to work self to God. Listening for what God wants to do within that day is the best thing you could do for yourself. See, you thought you already knew. You thought you already had it out. But it reminds us, no, lay your day before me. Lay your eating before me. Lay your, um, your, your schedule before me. Lay your sleep pattern before you. Because God doesn't want us to just be blessed. He doesn't just want us to have a fit body. He doesn't, but he wants us fit in our mind. He wants us at peace. He wants us to experience rest. He wants us to have joy. And sometimes we don't know how to walk all those parameters out but he does so when we give ourselves to him and say god i am inviting you into my eating i'm inviting you into my money i'm inviting you into my parenting my schedule my homeschool my life he just sweetly and gently and intricately he moves things he develops us like he developed me this morning girl why are you over there getting anxious and then i like my my sister told me and then you up there snapping at the kids they didn't, even, they, they didn't do anything just because you feel like you behind. Why you feel like you behind? You set your own schedule. You know, like I had to put myself in check. I set my own schedule. So if it's an hour later, why would I stress myself? But he's developing me to understand that space of grace and to understand flexibility because flexibility is just as important as being organized and, and having things scheduled. And that's a great you know, that's one of my strong points, but being flexible is just as important because guess what? If every time something changed, you're going to be a ball of madness or you're going to be a, a, in a frizzy. Don't nobody want to work with that because the reality is life does not flow like that. So God is constantly showing me how to let it roll off my back, as my husband say. My husband is like a master at that. He'd be like, okay, we going. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay. You know, job, yeah, it don't move him. He be like, we're going to keep moving him. Keep on, you know, he just, he has that together. Nah, organization, that's another thing. But hey, that's why he got me. So I said all that to say, I know it looks different, but I just wanted to encourage somebody because the reality is our Mondays don't start off perfect. We don't start off cute. Some of us right now put lipstick in the car, listen to me. Your eyebrows ain't right. You're rushing, feeling like you're perspiring. You're late for a meeting. Child Mondays can be a mess sometimes. We ain't motivated, but I'm here to let you know that even in your mess, God can just navigate you. Just invite him in that mess. Just like I had to do this morning. And the Lord had to develop me and say, girl, girl, calm down. I'm still here. I'm the one talking to you. I'm the one telling you to breathe. So breathe today. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week. We're going to get through this together, y'all. We're going to get fit. And I ain't talking about this natural body. We're going to be in mental fitness. We're going to be financially and spiritually. God wants us fit in our body, mind, and soul. He wants us fit. 
so that inside out so that we can go make a difference in this world so i pray something i said today not your regular motivational monday but just some nuggets straight from the holy spirit love y'all bye